Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday. We're starting a new job here down in Maryland. There's gonna be another contractor here. You guys are gonna see in the background of the video. They're gonna be working overhead, working on a tower, but they're not working with us just to make that clear. Not really familiar with who they are. So we're just gonna let that go. Again, Mr. Bowen let us bring the 303 down here to do this job. It's gonna be a tight one. We're gonna be doing the same thing though, installing a generator pad and conduits for the generator. Now this site is super tight. We're gonna be taking down some fence here. First thing of this morning. I'm only gonna be taking down two sections just to here. The pad is gonna be going in this area right here, which we don't have it laid out yet. But between the fence and the, and the shelter, we have five feet. The pad's gonna be four feet, so it's only gonna give us one foot of clearance. Um, also, the pad is another four by 10, eight inches thick, one, uh, one foot on center rebar, one mat, number fives, simple. Um, pipes are gonna be three one inchers, one two inchers, some grounds, pretty much typical what we usually do. So let's get started. All right guys, so we got this fence all down. Now Ed's gonna start stripping out the stone. Now guys, I wanna to touch on the fact that these sites that we come out to, it's the first time that we've ever seen the sites, just like it's the first time you're seeing them. So right now we're about three and a half hours from home. And again, we've never been out to this site before. We have no idea what it looks like. The only thing we have to go by is the plans and to be honest with you, in the cell industry, the plans are very vague, they're copy and paste. A lot of times they do it all from Google Maps. Now this site specifically, the layout is accurate and it's gonna lay out perfect. But majority of the time when we come out to these sites, all the layout's way off, nothing's where it actually says it is. And usually we're calling back to the office to try to figure out the game plan or what to do. So that's why a lot of times we can't really talk intelligently on what we're going to be doing until we get into it because the plans change constantly.
water guys but I did get my pipe stubbed up with my 90s on ready to go so I can keep laying pipe I'm trying to keep a little pile of uh, mud there we're gonna call it to keep this water the Ed found I'm coming this way I already switched my boots to the muckers getting this thing subgraded we plan on dropping about six inches here for a subgrade we don't want this pad to stick too high out of the ground so edge gonna work on subgrading we also have to fix that ground that we broke here and then I accidentally let Ed break that one as well but it's not a big deal because we got to do grounding anyway and what I have to do is Grab that ground rod there and bring a couple whips over here. There's going to be one going there, one coming up inside of the window with the pipe we're putting in, one here for the fence post, one there for the generator, and then another that, one there for the other gate post. So that's going to be five grounds total for this generator. What are you doing there, Brandon? Putting this uh, one inch pipe in the ground. Yeah. Just got done doing a grounding. Uh huh. I'm gonna land these pipes inside of our window over there. You gotta make sure you don't kneel on anything hot, right? Yeah, everything's hot. I yeah. Just broke my arm <laughs> a couple times. Ruined a couple molds. Ah, you'll be fine, man. You're young. Your skin will grow back. Young and dumb. Old man. guys like me, man. Scarred up. Yeah, we're all scarred up. <laughs> don't get old, huh? That's right. Don't get old. Stay young. Like burning that 626 That's right. forever. That's right. Gotta make sure nothing falls on our head. Got three men on a tower about 200 feet above us. <laughs> Times. We can't understand Spanish, so we don't know when something's falling. I really ought to take a Spanish course, Brandon. Move it. I guess move it means move out of the way. So now, guys, we're going to start putting these uh, 90s right on the pipe. And then we'll know our size once we lay them in the ditch like this. Oh, man. Then Ed can cut them. And we'll have a rough estimate of how long they got to be. So we don't waste any more pipe than we have to. I wish you'd hurry up. I know, right? Want to go to Case Dealer and look at equipment? Case <laughs> Dealer? All 
All right, so we got all the pipe in, ready to go. We're gonna leave most of this trench open. We gotta get an inspection, but at the end of it, where the window's at, we're gonna have to backfill so we can start getting ready for concrete. Ed just getting his depth pictures. Hope I didn't get too much glue on you, Ed. Gotta see more of it. That's right. So there's the finished product of the pipe in. We got all of our ground landed. And any of the ones that we did damage to, we fixed them up. Now we still have to dig in that ground there that goes through the pad. So guys, a lot of this material, especially over there, was really wet. So, Chris from Let's Dig 18 always talks about with sand, if you pile it up high, it'll help with the sand draining out and getting it drier. So since we can't backfill that end till tomorrow anyway, we're gonna give that a try. Keep this stuff piled up high and hope it'll drain out. So tomorrow, after we pass inspection, we can jump and jack it and hope it'll get tighter. All right, so we got this thing all formed up. Now we're gonna start setting our height. Ed's gonna grab a shovel and pry it up and down. We'll just use a level again, rather than the laser, which we didn't bring. And then we got our rebar started tying, but didn't finish it up. And we'll drop our steel in. Put this fence back up. And it should be pretty much it for today. Bar is all tied. It's all number five rebar. Again, 12 inches on center. You gotta watch these wire chairs. I constantly trip over stuff, guys. It's kind of funny. Haven't gotten hurt from it yet, so hopefully we keep that up. But anyway, I already have my window built into the steel. And again, three inches of clearance from everything. Ed's working on building a window out of plywood. Hold me. I guess you stepped over the back, you pulled me. 
So we got done the job early today guys and decided to come check out some new equipment. Do a little Christmas shopping. And I know we are very <laughs> pro cat guys. But since we've been uh, making these YouTube videos and watching a lot of YouTube, Ed and myself have really been open-minded to trying out some new equipment. And we tried a Takahuchi skid loader, which Ed's over there looking at them now. But I gotta be honest, we're considering maybe trying Takahuchi mini excavator. Not really too sure. This specific dealer doesn't have much, but it's real close to the job we're working at. Sad, you're making a jump or what, buddy? I don't know, we'll see, man. Definitely want to run some of this stuff. 